Hello and welcome to HTML background image tutorial. In this tutorial I prepared Notepad and on top here we have Chrome browser. So as you may know this is the basic HTML structure within the head we can have style and there are two ways of adding background to our web page. We can do it within the style tags or we can use the body tag and use the style attribute and between these brackets type our background code. For example, if you want to turn the background of the page black, you would do something like this. I'm going to save this document and refresh it. And as you can see, it changed to whatever the color we specified here. If we typed yellow, we're going to get this. But how do you get the image? To display an image in the background, we use the URL like this with parenthesis and within here we actually type the location of the background picture that we want to use. How this works, I found this random image on Google Images and I'm going to cut this out of the address bar and I'm going to paste it right into this URL between parentheses. And I'm going to save this and refresh. As you can see, we have a tiled background. If I magnify this, you will see that the background of our web page is now tiled with this background picture that I found. One thing you can do here is you can add additional parameters at the end of URL command. And one of them is no repeat. So if you say no repeat and refresh the browser, you will see that it's only repeated once. And in some cases that's useful. But a lot of the time you probably want to tile the background. You don't really want to do the tiled background and you want to stretch it across the entire browser width and sometimes hide. Probably most of the time nobody really does tiled backgrounds these days. And in order to do that, you would type background size and add 100%. So I'll resave that and see that here. But you will see that it's only scaling on X axis. If you go like this, it's still tiling vertically. So what you do is you add another 100%. Just remember that this is the X axis. This is the Y and save this and you will see that the background is perfectly matching the, the box of the browser. You can experiment with this further and let's say stretch it 75% on this axis and you will see that it's cutting off at exactly 75% while the, the bottom one vertical um, remains 100%. So you can change these values and see what you need it um, to look as and 100% and 100 is usually the most common one obviously because it's stretching the background across the entire box. And so I'm not going to take this tutorial any further than this except maybe that I can show you that we can take this code out and paste it into the body tag in here within these style tags and paste exactly the same code and you will see that it still works so by doing this we move things out of the style attribute and separate them uh, separate HTML tags from CSS code and that's usually a good idea so you don't have to do it that way if you just want to add a quick background you can always type it in here but if you care about organized code, you should probably move things out that are CSS attributes into separate place like this. So it keeps your code cleaner and it's easier to change later.